What's up, everyone? Welcome to today's live stream. I'm just going to get some music going. Bear with me for one second. Once we get some music going, we can talk about what we're going to be doing today, which I'm excited for. I don't think there's ever a project I've done where I'm not excited for it, so yeah. All right, tunes. Let's go with um, holiday season theme tunes because that's what we're doing here. We're gonna listen to the Jingle Trap playlist. Not sure what to expect on that. All right, so. It is the most wonderful time for a beer. That's the, today's theme. So I'm gonna do a quick sketch to show you what the idea is and then we're gonna try to figure out how to do this. Anti-V, you gotta choose some better projects, man. What's it, how's it going? How's your weekend, buddy? Yeah, true. School's a different story. I'm talking about the projects I've been doing in recent times that I have chosen myself. So, okay. Let me just figure out, you guys can see this here and here. All right. So I'm planning to make a bottle opener that kind of screws onto the wall. <clears throat> That's a, another idea for another day, I think. We're gonna stick to uh, the, the game plan here and maybe we'll, we'll, I don't know, we'll see how it goes. But it's basically gonna be like a plaque on the wall that says it's... I don't know where it's going to be. Maybe like somewhere here. I'm not exactly sure. And the plan is when you open your bottle, there's going to be a part that says for a beer. And that's going to be hidden in this section right here. What's up, Neptune? You're actually, I'm going to need your help on this one. But yeah, so when you open your bottle, this for a beer section is going to come up and it's gonna cover the of the year. And it's just like a little fun little plaque. So that's the game plan. Um, honestly, like at this point, I, I don't exactly have a plan for the mechanism, but I am thinking the action of the bottle opening is going to actuate the four of beer to slide up or it might even like rotate that could be cool too. Hmm. There was some inspo I found, which was this. This on Thingiverse, this bottle beer, bottle counter. Every time you open a bottle, it increases the count. And so it's kind of like a, a similar idea where the mechanism is creating the motion. So on this one, as you pull the bottle down, this red thing moves. And I think there's, there's a video, but I can't show you YouTube videos on my live streams, otherwise they get flagged. So we're just gonna talk about it. But yeah, as you pull this down, that actuates the counter. And I'm thinking that's how we're gonna do this. As you pull the bottle down, maybe it's gonna bring, maybe this will be on like a, a rotation and it's gonna pull the four beer down. 
It might need to be on a gear system because I, I, the actuation of the bottle pulling down is like smaller than the actuation. I don't know if that makes sense, but we're gonna we're gonna work out the details. This is like a very like raw start to finish project because like I really don't have like a good mechanism in mind. So we're gonna kind of figure it out. I'll take you through the process of how I do it, and a lot of a lot of it comes from um, Neptune's creations. Mr. Dennis throwing ideas at me. ATV, if you have any ideas, I'd like your, your suggestions as well. We're still in the, um, very much in the brainstorm phase. Let's see, we have some room down here. We can start drawing some mechanism sketches. Okay, so one thing I'm thinking, really, really simple, is Let's just say this is the beer opener. It's gonna look something like this. And if we're going off of like what's on the screen here, maybe there's gonna be like this here. I don't know, we'll figure out the details of that. There might be like a, I've seen a lot of these 3D printed beer bottle openers use like a coin here. So maybe we'll do, we'll go with that theme. So as the bottle comes in, let's see if we can draw like a really quick bottle. That's not the, the way it's gonna come in is sort of like this. And so the motion of you pulling down the bottle is gonna create a motion on this. And then it's gonna hit a stopper, some sort of stopper. And that's when the bottle is gonna pop open. So we don't have a lot of space. If this thing is like, like here maybe in its up position, and like here is where it's in its down position, we need to use, we only have this much space to create the actuation, but we can extend this back like this. And yeah, still on screen, sweet. Thank you, Ashutosh, I appreciate it. All right, let's see your idea. Yeah, I'm, I'm on the same page, actually. That's, that's sort of where, where one concept's at. The other concept is the, the raising up for a beer and then letting it drop down. And the only reason I like that more, geez, Dennis, that's, uh, that's intense. I hope everything's okay. Yeah, um, keep, us, keep us informed on what's going on. But yeah, if, the bottle opener is attached to the four beer that slides up and drops down. The weight of the four beer part is gonna be able to reset this back to its normal position. So that would kind of be like, we would have a link here that would link to the bottom of the four beer plaque, kind of like this. It might be in a different configuration. But this would be the four beer thing that would slide up and down. I want to make sure, yeah, still on screen. Good, that's good news. So as you pull the bottle down, this will push for a beer up and that would cover of the year. So that's one option. Um, I don't know if I like it that much. I, it's definitely doable, but I don't know how much I like it. So, Option two, let's figure out option two here. Getting all tangled up in this wire. So option two is what ANTV is talking about, which is like a, some sort of rotation. So let's, uh, I guess we have a little bit of space right here we can use. Just gonna mark it off so I'm not drawing. Yeah, so you guys can see. Okay, um, so the other option is to have for a beer and of the year on like a flip. Maybe we'll just we'll just erase this.
So if the four of year and of the year is on like a little flip chip kind of thing, I'm thinking like of the year would be like this. Like, I guess ultimately we could make it like, yeah, I was just about to say that. Um, we can use like a, a elastic band instead of a spring, just so it's a lot easier for anyone to 3D print. Like I, like, I feel like it's pretty easy to get access to an elastic band and that can pop the bottle opener back up when you're done. And then we can basically just throw a gear on the side of this and that, it only needs to rotate 180 degrees. So when you pull the bottle down, it would like, it'd be like the right gear ratio for the amount of bottle travel. This would be the bottle opener here. And that would rotate bottle opener like this. And that would flip it and that would look pretty dope, I think. So there's a couple other things to consider here. Um, Yeah, like, like Dennis, the idea is that the action of like pulling the bottle down on the, the bottle opener, like, like kind of like this, would reveal the for a beer part. So yeah, I think we're, we're all on the same page here. Now we're just trying to figure out what the me best mechanism is for it. So there's two things to consider. Like if we have this thing flipping and it's got to stick off of the wall, like I guess ultimately if it doesn't stick off the wall more than the bottle opener thing, then it's fine. But it would like, if we're looking at this from the side, let's just say this is the, the like base part of the plaque. And like, here's the, the top letters, like all the, it's the most wonderful time. And then we have the flipper here. So let's just say we have it on it. I don't really know exactly how we're gonna do it. So it'd have to be able to flip in that space. I guess we can make that happen. Although, ah, just like flip it up. Hmm. Is that what you mean, ATV? Just kind of like flip it up to cover? So maybe it would like flip up like that and cover of the year. If we want to get really crazy, we can make the action kind of like, like come out and flip it and then back in. which we might be able to like achieve with some sort of like cam and gear system. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. At some point we're going to have to make a decision. So the only thing that I'm thinking is for the sake of like, like keeping it slim enough on the wall and making it like something that's like actually reasonable to have on your wall. It has to stay like pretty, pretty low profile. So like the beer opener would only have to stick out. Like it would have to stick out more than this, this piece here. And like, all right, what we're going to do at very least, we can start by making the letters and sort of getting an idea for the size we want this thing to be in the first place. So like ultimately it's, it's gotta be able to fit on like, I don't know. How big is everyone's printers? Is like 210 kind of like a, a, a good standard size. My smallest printer is an Anycubic Mega. So 
it's a 210 by 210. I know the Prusa Mini is quite small. Yeah, it's only 180 by 180. So I think Prusa Mini owners, unfortunately, will have to be out. What's up, Sharif? But yeah, I think if we start with, okay. We're gonna go with the 205 millimeter overall size here. I'm just gonna make a little 205 by 205 square so we can start designing off of that. Yeah, 200 millimeters, yeah, 205 is gonna work, I think. Let's just delete these, we don't need these. All right, we can make this a little bit smaller so you guys can see my screen better. True. Okay. You don't don't you, you don't use a, a prime line. I used to always do the the border, but I started using the prime line and it like it like saves saves a little bit of time at least. But yeah, we can we can go two hundred. That works for me. All right, so let's just see. I may redesign the letters in Illustrator and then import them in after the fact, but let's, uh, let's see, Dennis. Dennis, I'm planning to make this thing completely mechanical. So no servos, no servo motors, only mechanical. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, but I also, I want to, I want to hide of the year. Hmm. Yeah, I definitely want to hide of the year. See how big we can make these letters. Let's say 30 millimeters. It's too big. Okay, well, we're slowly all getting onto the same page here, which is good. It's the best brainstorming. Let's go, with, let's get the capitals. Yeah, I think I think the uh, three D printing will be able to hold for sure. It's just it's just a matter of making everything like the right thickness. But if you get it thick enough, it will definitely hold the strength for sure. I just printed a a, a chain and um, it held fifty pounds, which is pretty cool. Hopefully, no one's cranking down on this thing. Maybe as the the Christmas party progresses, people might start cranking down on it a little bit harder. But it should work. Hmm. I don't really know how I'm going to do the text exactly. 
We're gonna do some design work later on. For now, let's just do the engineering work. Yeah, the PLA plus is pretty, pretty darn strong. Maybe that's why these chains are so strong. I didn't even think about that. This is all PLA plus, but I've heard PLA it's like on its own is pretty strong. I've never really tested it, but one of these days I'm gonna do a proper test on these chain segments and see how much weight they can actually hold. What is your question, Mr. Anti V? I've never heard about of it before. I don't even know. Phenakistoscopes. Phenakistoscopes? Phenakistoscopes. Is that how you say it? Phenakistoscopes. Yeah, it's a, that's a mouthful. Is it like a, like a... Phenakistoscope. Oh, okay. I actually, I actually tried once making a project with this, but you need, I can't open YouTube videos, guys. I'll get, I'll get, but you need like a, yeah, I made a zoetrope, that's what I was, yeah. But I didn't, I didn't know how to make it like elegant enough, so I kind of gave up on the project. That was actually the project that led to the jive bot, like the dancing robot. I don't even know if I have any videos to show you guys. But, if you have a strobe light, you can make something really, really cool. Or you need to look through through like slits. That's what these are. This is like for a mirror and you look through the slits and that creates like a strobe. Yeah, it's a project I actually like think I might come back to at some point. But exactly, a zoetrope uses flashing lights and um, I don't know, I kind of quit on that project. All right. Let's just for for fun right now. What you talking about intersection? I don't know what his problem is right now. Oh, it's this. Okay. Wow. One small thing. This is what's causing the problems. Let's fix that. We'll make it 92. Yeah, there we go. Fix the problem. Really, this is this like all this letter work. I can't do this officially. Exactly, officially in SolidWorks. I'm gonna have to do this in Illustrator and get it looking nice, but. This is more just a, as like a, just kind of like a, like a mock-up, we'll call it. Boom, got ourselves some letters. Um, honestly, I just like, I do all the social media stuff, Shareem, YouTube, Instagram. But it's all just sort of to like, Build. I don't really know what I'm building to be honest with you guys. Like generally speaking, other than just like hopefully like a, a good community of people who are interested in art and engineering combined. I have my, I do have a couple of SoundCloud albums, but I'll let you guys find those organically. Okay, cool. It's the most wonderful time of the year. So let's make our like Let's try to make our like flip chip thing and just see if we can get it in here. Actually, realistically, 
I gotta get rid of the of the year. I'll definitely I'll check it out actually. Is it did you uh, put it in the Discord? Start a new project here. This is project number 64. Honestly, there's a huge part of me that just loves making these new project folders. Um, we're just gonna call this project for a beer. F-A-B, fab. F-A-B underscore uh, main piece, I don't know. My brain is really moving at a Monday's pace right now. <laughs> That's like, you gotta like have that setting in TV for like, like as, as the night goes on more, the of the year just turns to of the beer. But I, I think I still want to say for a beer. So let's get that. This is all super mock-up. We're in a super mock-up state right now. So, of the year, font 20, I don't know, five, 27, fine. 92, fine. It's so annoying like how close the A and the E are together. But again, this is CAD. It's not meant for doing Graphic design. And then we'll make a plaque on the back of this. I actually want to, uh, maybe we're gonna, s let's just center this. We'll make our plaque. And then on this side, I probably should have started with the plaque, hey? Oh my God, stop. Stop doing this to me on a Monday, SolidWorks. Let's go with 190. So we have some room on the sides to attach a gear if we need it. this again now of the year and I gotta think about how we're gonna be able to print this thing to flip chip all right we'll worry about those details after let's just try to get a mechanism working first it's getting super warm in here just give me a second all right let's go I've never seen that before, but that's awesome. What do you have up your sleeves right now, Mr. Antiv?
There's really like no good way to do this. Yeah. Okay. What's up, El Mario? Hola. I guess I could have done it like this. Or a uh, beer. All right, sweet. Just gonna make a quick axis here. Boom. Ah, we'll call this the flip chip. I don't know why I'm calling it a flip chip, but that's, the, that's the, the working title for it now. And then we can throw this all into an assembly. That is definitely the way you gotta do it. If you can do it, you have a laser cutter, just make it with cardboard. That's one thing that I'm like super jealous of your laser cutter. Just making some quick cardboard. All right, now we can grab this axis. And for the sake of just getting things moving, so one option is to flip it like this. Let me just, uh, where is my axis? We're gonna put it a distance from this. Storage mode, are you moving? Running out of space? It's obviously wrong, just gotta fix that really quick. All right, sketch. Boom. Okay. So I think next thing I'm gonna do is make a mock-up bottle opener and we'll worry about the details of this later as well. It's just gonna be a little hack shape for now. And maybe I'll give it a central axis. Maybe we'll make that 12 millimeters so it's nice and thick so people don't break it. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but there's constantly landscaping going on outside my place. It's crazy. All right. This, this, collinear. And there is our mock-up bottle opener. Beautiful. Fab, bottle opener. Put that into our assembly. Maybe we will just 
constrain it to this axis for now. And I don't know. I can assure you there's no avalanches coming on. Omar, is that something that you're uh, like you're designing in CAD in 3D printing? So what I'm gonna do is just throw a gear made on there just to sort of get the idea. And if this is only moving a quarter, we need this to be a, a one to four ratio. A four to one maybe. I'm always backwards. If, yeah, there we go. Okay. So there's concept number one. This would have to be spring loaded to bring it back up, which by spring loaded, we could just use an elastic band or a couple elastic bands. And you'll basically put your beer into here. And then I just want to confirm that based on this inspo that we were looking at, not this bottle opener gun, this thing. So yeah, as you pull this down, it pulls this red thing down, which in increases the counter. So that's kind of what the idea is here. We might have to change the gear ratio. And it's not gonna be perfect. I'll tell you that, because 3D printed gears are not ever perfect, but. Hmm. There is concept A. The question is like, how far off of the wall, would it be acceptable for this to sit? Like if you guys are putting this on your wall and it was like sitting off the wall like that much, like maybe like, I don't know, like 80 millimeters off the wall. Like, would you guys feel comfortable with that? I'm trying to find like an example of what 80 millimeters off the wall would look like. I feel like 80 millimeters off the wall is not unreasonable. It'd be like having this box, this filament box sitting on your wall. It's kind of like extreme for a bottle opener. Maybe you can catch bottles. I don't know. Might be a little extreme. It's kind of cool though, right? All right, let's do a quick prototype of the other option here. So we're gonna make this really simple. I'm just going to I'm actually gonna do this as a second configuration. We'll call it slider configuration. We're gonna do a sketch on the front plane.
this will make another version of this. Add derived configuration. No, not derived. Add configuration slider. Okay, and then what we can do is create a second assembly configuration. And in this configuration, this is going to be a slider version, boom. This is going to be, we'll suppress this piece. We'll suppress this piece. So if I do this, if I go back to the default, everything's here, except for this needs to be suppressed. But now we can work on the slider version and yeah, pretty simple. Get some mates going here. So the plan is to have this slide up and down. That's the slider version. This of the year might have to be like indented. Or maybe this whole pack would be indented just to save some space. Rather than sticking out, it'd be cut in. I don't know yet. There's a part of me that's like feeling like a little uncertain about this idea. I don't know, what do you, what do you guys think? Do you guys think this is a good idea? Or? There's been better JBV creative ideas out there. I'm open to all forms of feedback, guys. So don't don't worry that you're gonna offend me. Um, I want it to be old school mechanical, so anyone can print it easily. Because I, I put all my files available for download, so you can download them and print them yourself. And so that's where the mechanical aspect comes in here. Maybe what I can do is if I have, okay, here's a thought. Let's make a second configuration ball opener. On this configuration, there's gonna be a random hole here. It doesn't really matter what it is. Just purely, we're just purely doing mock-up here. Boom. Exactly, El Mario. So every time you open a bottle, the four of beer, at least in this version, is gonna slide up, which it's gonna be covered. I can't, I'm covering my screen, you guys can't see that. But there's going to be something covering it here, and then every time you, op you open a beer, it's going to slide up like that. I guess we need to make the cover. Let's just do that quickly. It's all super mock-up right now. So, yeah, none of the details of the cat is going to be working. This is just to get the concept down. So it'll be like kind of hidden like this. And then when you pull the beer, it'll pop up like that. So let's try to get that mocked up and then we can kind of decide which one's better.
So that axis is just to make it so I can mate it randomly. What's your complaint, ATV? They're complaining to you? About what? How would anyone complain to you about anything? Yikes. Too precise. That's something I never ever heard as in my days as a prototype engineer. Sorry, this this part was way too precise. So you can also actually actuate by pulling up, right? If you put the bottle in like this, and as you pull it up, just create a quick link. I actually have some links I can grab, so I don't have to make it. Um, when was the last time I used a link? I can't even remember. <laughs> Made too many projects over the last little bit. I've lost track of everything. It wasn't the exploding circle, it was maybe this. No. All right, we'll just grab this link here. Ah, you know what, we'll just make one. For the sake of quick mock-ups. Quick CAD mock-ups. And the length. Let's make it 50 for now. Awesome. I'm gonna take a look after the stream's done. Oh, you mean as a, okay. I'll take a look right now. Ah, oh, nice, nice tool holder. Looks great. Fab, we're gonna give us a very descriptive name, Link. All right, so now it's like you can either open your bottle up. That's too much. So this is the only problem with this is you need a really large action unless, unless we gear it, but then I'd be concerned about it not being able to like gravity return. It might, it might gravity return. Hmm. Okay, what do you guys think? What do you think of this project? Is this like, is this worth pursuing in your opinions, in all your humble opinions? Or is it worth me coming up with a different, I have another Christmas idea that I wanted to do that's less like functional. This is kind of more of like a functional print. I thought it could be fun, but it, it might just logistically not work for the, the, the purpose here. It would definitely work if I servoed, if I drove it in a servo form. It's actually a lot easier to do as a servo powered project. 
But then you need power, you need a servo motor, you need like an Arduino. It's definitely a complicated thing to figure out. I'm not worried about that because I've, I've learned that if you sit with any problem long enough, you will figure it out. It's more a question of like, do you think it's like, is it funny? Do you think the internet will like it is really the question. Do you think people with 3D printers would be interested in downloading it and making it? You guys are my focus group. You guys have 3D printers. Would you be interested in making this yourself to put on the wall at your holiday party? It's kind of funny, I guess. Okay, let's try, let's try this. Fair enough, but do you drink Coca-Cola? Or, or ginger, ginger ale, ginger beer. You can substitute for a beer with for a ginger beer. Okay, let's try this. We're gonna try, I just wanna see how long this would have to be. That is not a bad idea, Mr. Mr. V. So this is just to see like, cause I prefer the action to be down rather than up. So I'm just making this test to see like how the down action will work. Quick dab from Mr. El Mario. I love it. Let's just bring this up a little bit. So that action is like pretty reasonable, I think. But this is the problem is it see how far back it sticks. One thing I could do is have this. Let's see if we do it like this. We make that come forward 30. I want it to drop back there. Is that what you mean? Like to prevent it from dropping back down? Like I want this to be like, a, it comes up every time you open a beer and then it just drops back down to here when it's sitting. But it will be in a channel on the side here. Like it will be sliding like this. I'm gonna probably make this thing like a whole frame. And then this will probably sit in the, in the frame. The frame will be the channel that it slides in. It won't stick out this far, I don't think. 
And then this doesn't need to be so long. Really, this could be... I guess this doesn't need to be 65 millimeters. This could be like a lot less. Let's get rid of this hole right here. True, yeah. Yeah, let's just see what happens if we bring these letters in quite a bit, like these like two millimeters, this one as well, this back plate does not need to be so thick, we can make that two mm millimeters, we can make these letters two millimeters. This can stick out way less far. See what that looks like. Oops. There we go. Oh my god. What happened to my So the magnet's not a bad idea, although it's a hard thing. It's a harder thing for people to get themselves. So just think about like if if you at the very minimum have like a 3D printer and nothing else, can you put this together? And I think like adding like an elastic band, like like most people can can handle elastic bands, but I think a magnet makes it a lot harder to to like. Makes it a little bit harder to, to get everything that you need. I don't know what I'm doing here, guys. <laughs> I'm just trying to get this. There, there it is right there. Okay, cool. It's definitely Monday. There's no question about that. So really the only question I'm, I'm wondering, is it like, is it too much that this sticks out so far back? Cause then this would have to be like, like quite large. We could make these pins smaller and that would reduce the overall size, but I don't know if that's the move because we want this to be like pretty strong at least. When Uncle Jim at the holiday party gets a little rowdy, he doesn't break it. The slot, I, I'm not exactly sure what you mean. Is it possible for you to draw like a sketch or something and post it in the Discord? No worries, Dennis. It's a uh, totally understandable man. You have to uh, take care of your daughter. Sounds like a pretty stressful thing going on at her school. So absolutely no worries. So the question is, do we go with this method or do we go with 
flip chip method, which is So the only thing about the flip chip is if it's flipping like this, it's gonna, you gotta have this space, right? That's an interesting thought too, the counterweight. I like the idea there. This is the point in every project where you start to go, what was I thinking? And we, we're not even that far in, but I, I really like where this is going. I like the potential of it. I just don't have any like really great ideas for the final execution. Is there any other mechanism concepts you guys could think of that would make this work? What exactly do you mean, Elmario? You gotta expand. So we got the... Flip chip mechanism. The slider mechanism. Yeah, so that's what I was thinking with this. Is you could maybe even like we could disguise all this space back here as like a picture frame or something like that. And that would deal, let's see how much space there is back here anyways. Like if we make a plane off of this, that's is it 10, is it 20? No, it's not 200. So it's 20 millimeters of like dead space back there. A little bit less than 20 actually. Well, yeah, at the furthest back. So another option though that we could do is to use a gear system to raise this. Okay, actually, this is an interesting thought. What if we use a rack and pinion to raise this up? And then we can gear, ooh, guys, I think we're getting somewhere right now. Yes, okay. Rack and pinion. I actually have to, just, I'll be right back. I'll be right back.
All right, I'm pumped. I think we figured it out. I think we have a, a path forward here. So let's grab a rack. So we're gonna go to my gear library, boom. And just so you guys all know, actually this gear library is available for free on my website. All right, Neptune, good luck with everything, man. And thanks for tuning in. But yeah, so I have this gear library on my website. It's for free. It's free. Um, so if you guys want to download it, you can use it to make some designs. But basically, there's all these files that, for different gears that are available. And they're all available as step files. So you can just open them up in whatever CAD software you use, and then you can basically modify them from there. So let's use this. I'm going to use um, M1.5 gears just because they got some big teeth and gives you a lot of space. Fab, M1.5, 100 millimeter rack. Let's get rid of this step, boom. And then in SolidWorks, I like to dissolve this feature so I don't have any problems with it. And then now we can just like work off of this. Like you can move this face if you need to, or you can make like cuts. So like if I wanna make this smaller, I'll just make a cut here. Maybe make it five millimeters for now, it works. And then we can go split, cut part, So now we got this rack right here, sweet. And this, I'm thinking if, if this is how we're gonna do it, let's just get rid of this for the time being. And let's put that rack into place here. Oh, uh, NTV with the sketch. Let's see what NTV has got to say here. Ah, slot. This is ATV sketch. Oh, ATV went like full cat on this sketch, which I love. That's in the Discord if you guys want to see it. You have to now explain to me what you mean by this, but maybe we're on a similar beat here with the rack and pinion. I don't know, but uh, I'm feeling pretty excited about this concept. So if we just put this rack into place here. And I'm just gonna move this, make it a little bit thinner. Hello, Joanny. Uh, I see what you mean. Having it as a linear slide rather than a, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying, but I think the rack and pinion might be a more, because I, I think like the, the motion, oh my God. Like the, the motion of opening a beer bottle is more of a rotational motion. So it's kind of like hard to like, you have to like lift it and then pop it. And it's less, I just think it's less natural than a rotation. Like this rotation. But if we, okay, let's make a new configuration here. Rack, pinion. But if we have it on a rack and pinion system, the gears could sit in front and I, you guys know I love gears. So let's see if we can work this out. So in this, we need to suppress this, suppress this, unsuppress, uh, I guess we need a new bottle opener, boom. This is gonna be the standard default configuration way more compact. I love that way more. So we're just gonna have to basically create a rack and pinion system with like enough of a gear 
increase to be able to slide this up as far as it needs to go, which is this far. Which, like, worst comes to worst, we can make this smaller because it's just a little bit big right now anyways. But, all right, let's, let's just try to get this mocked up really quickly. And I think we're going to just, like, use some... Oh, uh, I see what you're saying. But then you have to have it sticking out from... Yeah, slots on slots. Love it. Let's try this first. And then we'll, if this doesn't work, we'll, we'll go back to the, the slot and link idea. But I'm, I'm excited because I love a good rack opinion. Um, all right, so let's, let's bring a gear in. And I think I'm just gonna go for an older gear that I've made, maybe from the gear switch. Where's the gear switch at? Does anyone see gear switch here? I think it's called switch adapter. Light switch attachment, great. And yeah, 20 tooth gear, that'll do. See what we got here. Yep, nice. It seems that every single option has its ups and ups and downs. I have to agree with you. All right, and now we are going to just give this an arbitrary spot here, and let's give this an axis first. And I can take this axis and constrain it to some distance from this rack. Whoa, what are you doing all the way over here? So this is actually a bigger gear than we're going to want. Uh, but for now, it's fine. We'll work out the details of the spacing and everything after, but let's just... Let's just try to get a feel for what kind of gear ratio we would need. So if we are using this gear and this rack, let's just uh, give it a gear rack mate, mechanical mate, rack pinion mate. The rack is this, and for some reason it always wants you to grab an edge, and the pinion's this, and the pitch diameter of a 20, 20 tooth modulus one and a half is the 30 pitch diameter. Let's just make sure that is legit. And then we just need to reverse that because SolidWorks never wants to get it right the first time. Beautiful. So to get this to move the amount of space that we have it set right now, let's see how far. So right now it's like this. We need this to move. Oh, you know what, actually? That's almost like perfect as it stands. A 
Okay, so if we take this and we put this here, and we're going to mate this to this, and then we need to constrain the two pieces together. We'll do that with this front plane and this front plane. So now we can move them together. Okay, so we now can turn this off and then adjust it. That's the position for it. Turn it back on, let's see. See what we get. That's a little bit more than we want still. Like I think I only want this to have to move this much. So that means that we would have to gear this down quite a bit, but that's okay. Another thing I'm thinking is that we can have this rack kind of here against the wall and this sticking out and that would keep everything kind of like tucked away nicely. Also, this whole thing is probably going to be a lot smaller than it is right now because it's just a little big, but Let's see what happens if I add another gear that is smaller. Actually, I need, I need a bigger gear to a smaller gear. If I want this to maybe make a compound gear. All right, let's find a gear from our gear library. I could also just grab a gear from an old project, but I can't remember the last time I used a 12 millimeter gear. Oh, right here, that's a 16 tooth. Um, Sharib, have a good night. Thank you for hanging out, man. Hopefully I'll see you in the next live. I just need a 12 millimeter gear. I don't know where to find it from. Here. No. M2 gears, what was I thinking? Here, no. Come on. Come on. All right, we're just going into the gear library. I'm just being lazy. I'm gonna grab a 12 toother. File, save as, job, underscore, uh, Let's get rid of this mate, this, this one. We're gonna have another one of these. And then we need that 12 tooth gear that we just made. That's gonna go here. All these gears are obviously gonna be a little bit thinner than they are. Boom. Now we can mate these two faces together. And the distance is Center distance, a 12 tooth gear is, has an 18 millimeter pitch diameter plus 30 divided by two. That's how you get the spacing and then we'll give it a little bit of 3D printing clearance, 0.25. So those are the right clearance now and then we can mate this. Get rid of all these mates actually. Mate this with this. No, we're not deleting, we're mating. Concentric, boom. 
And then we got to give this guy, we'll just give it some arbitrary spot here. And this is how you make a gear, a gearbox, everyone. It's kind of, there's no really easier way to do it. It's kind of a pain in the butt. It always is kind of a pain in the butt, but it's worth it. So I added some mate here and I don't really, oh, this one here, okay. This, we just want it to be a certain distance. Let's go to 25 for now. And then the last thing to do is to create a gear mate between this and this. Mechanical mate, gear, and this one is 20 tooth, and this one is 12 tooth. Boom. And so now as this rotates, that rotates, and then we gotta constrain this gear and this gear. We do that with these planes. Boom. So now as we rotate this gear, that gear rotates, but I just realized a problem with this. And the problem with this is the gears flip. So now as this rotates, you have to rotate this up in order to get the sign to come up. There's, I'm still not sure if that's all right or not. I haven't decided yet. If opening your beer up like this is better or opening it down. I think opening it down is better than opening it up. It's just safer. So we might need to add another gear just to flip it, but that's not a big deal. There shouldn't be much friction here. It should be able to drop, no problem. Let's just constrain this and this together first and then we can see how we feel about it. It's this gear and this bottle opener. So that's a much better action at least. Now we just gotta flip it, it's kind of annoying. But it is what it is. So the only other thing is that these gears are quite large, but it's okay, because I think gears, I don't know, it's kind of my style, Gears. I think gears look cool. But let's just get this lined up first to see, I think we can do that with the We take this gear and turn off this gear mate for a sec. Turn it back on. So that motion right there is the motion that you're gonna to need to actuate. Okay, so obviously this is like a really, really rough mock-up and now it's kind of just like, I have to like work on the details of how this is all gonna look. But I think I'm gonna call this a great starting point and we're gonna call the stream here for today. And I'm probably gonna finish this off stream, but stay tuned within the next few days, hopefully this will be ready and available to download and yeah i'll be posting about it on my social media so instagram TikTok. i'll be posting about it here on on youtube as a short when it's all ready to go 
and then you guys will be able to download it and it's probably gonna be another one of my free files. So yeah, thank you guys so much for tuning in and I hope to see you guys on the next stream, which will probably be next week. But check out, check the Discord and I'll let you guys know there. So yeah, have a great day. Yeah, I think we're, we're gonna call it. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm just completely brain dead today. So we're gonna call it. But yeah, thank you guys so much for tuning in and I'll speak to you guys on the Discord. Let me know if you have any ideas that come up. You too.